Welcome to your expansive and aligned path forward. Oh, I'm so excited. This is a five-day challenge to spark your potential power and purpose. Welcome to day one. So today we are getting acquainted with your power, potential, and purpose. And I'm going to chat a little tiny bit about what chakras we're going to be working with, as well as what power, potential, and purpose means in the context of this challenge and going forward in my work. So this is the space I've been guided to work with with clients, and it's come to me as the soul map. So you may have heard that term before in, in many different meanings, right? So the way that it has given to me, and this is coming through Archangel Metatron, Michael Sandelfin, and Archangel Ariel as well. So it's the intersection of your power, purpose, and potential. So picture just like a map, a soul map, this kind of like the way that it was shown to me is almost like in a Metatron's cube. So that that middle circle is your soul map and your power, potential, and purpose are is where it's all intersecting. So it's in this space, we're all going to be moving closer to this soul map within this challenge here. So when you start to hit the outer circles of your soul map, you're going to start to feel in alignment. Things will feel like they're flowing and your trust and self-belief are going to start expanding and expanding. Opportunities are going to flow your way as if by magic. And the deeper and deeper you get into the soul map cross-section of your power, purpose, and potential, the more you're really going to feel these things and the more you're really going to understand your power, purpose, and potential. So with that also comes increasing amounts of responsibility. So responsibility is really a gift and a sign of spiritual maturity. Souls that are close to this space, um, this space of responsibility, this place of a soul map, have incarnate many, many times and have been perfecting their gifts across many lifetimes so that you can relax in knowing that without a doubt, you will have everything you need to step up into this higher responsibility without ever having to feel overworked, overpressured, or fear. So these aspects are likely going to come up. So it's important to remember that they are part of the human program and temporary, and we can move through them. So keep that in mind throughout the challenge and going forward as you're stepping into your soul map. Anytime you're feeling this pressure, this fear, overwork, doubt, we can work through them. That's just part of the humanness. We'll connect and work through that for sure. So we all know where we're headed now in the soul map territory. So during this five-day challenge, we're sparking more of your power, potential, and purpose, all three of which set you on this expansive and aligned path forward deeper towards your soul map. So with some of the concepts we're going to look at, they may seem familiar. Or you may have done similar exercises before, but don't skip over them as they're going to help to come up to meet you exactly where you're at right now. So to get started, so this is just kind of some housekeeping to get started that you want to have on hand. Number one, have a journal or have a document that is dedicated to this challenge. It doesn't have to be fancy and it doesn't have to be a brand new one. Just choose one and stick with that. You want to write the date at the top of the page and write day one. This is where your work begins. Number two, set your intention for the challenge. So what do you want to get out of the challenge? How do you want to feel at the end of the week, at the end of the challenge? What clarity are you hoping to gain? So just, again, write this out. When we write things down, we ground them down, and we begin to bring them into uh, fruition a lot easier. So write this stuff down. Number three, grounding and integration. So since this challenge includes energy healing and activation, it's important that you are allowing all of this energy to ground through you as well as it'll take full effect. If you're not allowing things to ground and integrate, it's not going to nearly be as potent and effective. So make sure to take time for that, that self-care and that grounding. And make sure to get lots and lots and lots of water. The more hydrated you are, the more intuitive you're going to be, the more you're going to accept the energy healing, and the more clarity you're going to get. So water is very important for this. All right, number four is self-gratitude. Now, this is something I want you to do every single day. How I mentioned getting a journal or getting a document that you're going to keep track of all of this uh, challenge in, start recording every single day self-gratitude, self-love. The more in self-compassion, the more in this state of appreciation of self we can be, the faster we can make progress. It's unbelievable how much faster we can make progress and how much it stalls our progress when we don't have that. So this is really important for daily and you don't have to spend a lot of time on it. Even take five, 10 minutes every single day and do it. It's going to be well worth it. Whenever you're investing this extra time in your mindset and your energy, it comes back to pay you 10, 100, 1,000 fold later on. So it's very much worth, worth your time investment. So 
Uh, what I want you to do is, again, you've heard of gratitude journals where you're just writing down the things that you're grateful for. So what are you grateful for about yourself? And dig deep and pull out everything that you can. And then I want you to reread it and feel it into your heart, feel it into your solar plexus that you unconditionally love yourself and are ready for more of who you are on a soul level to shine through. Again, reread your self-gratitude and feel it. This is where the magic really comes in. This is where you start to attune your energy, attune every single cell of your body to have this unconditional self-love, which propels you forward way, way, way faster. All right, so our journal challenge for day one. Most days we're going to have a journal challenge. I think each day we're going to have a journal challenge. Um, and what that does is, again, it connects you into the mindset and it starts to open you up to your subconscious and the things that are going on in there, again, to be making faster progress. So journal challenge for day one. In addition to your self-gratitude and writing out the intentions, I'm putting a whole bunch of stuff on you right here in the first day. So you're writing out your intentions for the challenge. You're writing out your self-gratitude. Then I want you to write out why you feel confused or unclear regarding your power, purpose, and potential, or what you want more of in a connection. Now, what I want you to do is make two different columns on a piece of paper. On column A, write out where you're feeling confused, unclear, why you want more of a connection to your power, purpose, and potential. In column B, write out why you are sure of your power, purpose, and potential, even if you don't have a logical reason why. So for example, I might say something like, you know, I'm confused because I don't know if I have what it takes to, to do this big, um, this big purpose that I feel that's growing inside me. And that would be an A. I'm not sure if I have what it takes. Um, and over in B, I would say, I know that I'm meant to help light workers move closer and into their soul map to help them get unstuck, understand and shine into their brilliance. I know this because I feel it because it evokes emotion in me. And when I feel like I'm not showing up, I feel depressed. And when I feel like I am showing up, I am, I'm expansive. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a logical reason. Like I know I'm connected to my power, purpose, and potential because I have this accreditation or I took this course or something like that. It's about how you're feeling because you're always going to feel your power, purpose, and potential. So again, column A, you're starting to write out your doubts, things that are unclear, um, things that you want more information on. In column B, you're writing out what you know for sure because you can feel it inside your body. Again, we're just starting to wake up all of these things inside ourselves. So what I'm going to be coming back with today as well is an 8D shift energy clearing, and that's going to help to start to move some of those um, confused and stuck energies out of the way. Now, I mentioned that we are going to be working with specific chakras throughout this challenge, and that may change as I'm, I'm channeling um, information and meditations and energy healings and those types of things throughout the week. But right now, the flow of energy that we're working with is we are working with your crown chakra and any chakras above that you have already opened and activated. So again, this challenge is meeting you where you're at. So that, that's the first kind of area that we're working with. And that has to do with your potential. And then we're also working with your solar plexus and navel chakras. So the way that I work with um, chakras, especially as it's relating to soul map, is the fifth dimensional chakra. So we're expanding things out. We're moving things up to a higher vibration. So we're going to be working with your fifth dimensional solar plexus and navel chakras. And that's to do all with your power, right? And then we're moving down further and we're working with your earth star chakra and that's to do with your purpose. So we're working with purpose in the earth star, power in the solar plexus and potential in the crown chakra and above. So just as kind of a little bit of a heads up of some of the energies that we're working with. So you can begin right now and just number one, definitely get your journaling challenge aspect complete of this. And number two, it's just start to set the intention that you are open to expanding and activating your crown chakra. You are open to expanding and activating your solar and navel chakras. You are open to expanding and connecting to your earth star chakra. And just start to feel that energetic flow, that energetic column of light that's connecting all of these chakras and bringing your power, purpose, and potential more into focus. Okay, so I will be back with another recording today that's going to be an 8D shift clearing. This is a pretty powerful energy clearing, so you're going to want to have um, a quiet space where you can complete this, and then a few minutes after, you may feel inspired to journal. I will see you soon.